down. I'm going to do a favor report on uh, on HP on this decision by HP, right. of course, to put a poison pill in. That came late yesterday. Um, they uh, put a pill in, not perhaps unexpected by some, because this is a company without a staggered board. Of course, just to set everybody again, remember, 24 bucks is the bid from Xerox. They're challenging all the directors on the board. Uh, who are up for election. That is the entire board of directors, of course. On Monday, by the way, HP is going to report earnings. Uh, after the yes. bell, we'll be focused on those. We'll see whether the company gives anything more there in terms of uh, a plan that goes beyond a year or two. Um, un un unclear exactly what will be offered, but there is an expectation perhaps it's going to be more than just simple earnings uh, on Monday. But those will be important, of course, in and of themselves uh, as this battle continues to rage. Okay, they put the poison pill uh, in. Um, 20%, you can't go beyond that. Why? Well, because these guys put the tender in, remember. Now, the idea, though, that they actually were going to get more than 50.1 and be able to sort of close a tender seemed unlikely. This does appear still more on the road towards going towards an actual vote. Again, we'll see if, in fact, the companies do choose to engage. There is a belief, however, on the Xerox side that they don't necessarily at this point have to engage with management or the board as much as having to engage with the top 10 shareholders who could deliver right. the votes that could change the composition of the board and therefore tell them and work a deal with them that they find acceptable to get their votes uh, in, a, in a coming uh, uh, a vote that won't take place till let's call it, late April or May. Uh, do I have a statement from Xerox as well on this plan uh, that was put into place by HP in terms of the poison pill? They say the HP board clearly adopted a poison pill because our offer is receiving overwhelming support from their shareholders, regardless of what the company and its army of, of advisors announced Monday, and that is along with earnings. We believe HP shareholders appreciate the value we create by combining Xerox and HP outweighs and is incremental to anything HP could achieve on its own. Despite the HP's board's intentions to deny shareholders the chance to choose from themselves, we will press ahead with our previously announced tender offer and electing our slate of highly, highly qualified director candidates. I should note, of course, it's not unusual to put a pill in uh, at all in these kinds of situations. Happens uh, any number of times. What is somewhat different is, remember, we used to have staggered boards a lot. We don't anymore. How this will be viewed from a governance perspective when the votes do come in and from those at ISS and others who weigh on those votes, too, will be interesting because poison pills not typically well viewed from governance, uh, of a, a governance side of things. Um, and then you got Icon. He's in favor of John Visentine running this uh, combined company. He's a, what, an 8-plus percent holder of HP shares. He plays an important role here. And don't forget Darwin Deason over at Xerox, who'd roll into any deal, of course, as right. a significant shareholder. I have a statement from him, too. Uh, Deason telling me, I'm not a seller of Xerox. I'm a buyer of Xerox. And John taking over, that's Visentine, the management and driving to these amazing synergies. Remember, they're talking about over mm -hmm. $2 billion. In over 50 years of doing deals, I've never seen one more obvious than this. And John's the right person to do it. It's clear as day to us down here in Texas says uh, Darwin D. And, uh, Again, though, the question, Jim, is where are the long onlys on this? I have not spoken to any of the right. big guys who are clearly telling me, certainly not on the record and even not off the record, that they are going to be in favor. They've got to win them. If they do, this whole thing could change dramatically. HP does not have the ability to reverse the deal in terms of saying we're going to try and take you over. Right even if you don't want to, because they missed the nominating deadline to, to nominate directors for Xerox. Um, and so it's a very interesting combination Where's of Chip forces Burke, right now. Chairman, where does he fit okay. in? He's Chip chairman, is, he's the CEO of, of, Le of Levi's. Yes, he is. He's in, certainly he's quoted in the release series in favor, of course, of putting the pill in. He says the board's focused on creating long-term value, and it's essential. HP shareholders have sufficient time and full information when considering any tender offer. The idea great is we're giving ship. you time just in case the tender were to come in and they were able to close around it, get more than 50%. Well, let's see um, the quarter. The business is... This is having the impact that you might have strong. expected. HP is going up on the higher likelihood that, in fact, if this were to get to the finish line, Xerox would be the buyer. Remember, in the past, so often, everybody's expected if they ever do sit down, they'll just reverse it. HP will just buy them. Right. This is the market saying, maybe not as likely as we thought.